students in the previous lectures we have discussed about the accrued income we have discussed that service that you have given to the customer but still you have not received the money here what we are discussing we are discussing the earned earned income okay what is the earned income means you have received the cash you have received the cash but service is not yet rendered in full in the very simple example we just consider let's say your business as insurance company you are insuring the different customers let's say the one customer is there you have insured that person for how many months for the seven months on which date on the first of the november 2020 and you have received how much 700 dollars you have received but this is the insurance for how many months for seven months it means you are receiving the money of almost $100 per month in the form of the insurance but you have received the money in advance okay from the customer you have received the money in advance so advance income received now out of this 700 when the year is ending means on the 31st of the December what we have to consider that how much is the income for this year again in like a previous example we are considering that the financial year is ending on which date on the 31st of December 2020 okay now first of all on the 1st of November 2020 what you have done you have received the income you have received the amount in in the form of the cash or you have saved the money in the bank to the cash account or it may be a bank account that will be debit by how much it will be debit by 700 okay but this money you have received in advance means the service of the insurance you have not given to the customer you have received the money in advance for the next seven months so it's not the income for you it is right it is a liability for you and how much liability seven hundred dollars liability on that date because you are receiving this money for the next seven months every month you will give the insurance coverage to the customer for the next seven months so this insurance income is for the this year this also some of the portion in next year but on that date on the first of november the whole amount you are receiving in advance so it will be written as an unearned income. Okay. Amount received from customer. So for how many months? For seven months you are receiving the amount. Now the next thing that is very important 31st of the December 2020 is approaching on that date obviously you have to prepare your financial statement you have to write that how much is our income how much is our expense what is receivable what is payable means everything will be written in the financial statement because you have to prepare the financial statements so the two main financial statement the income statement and the statement of financial position will be prepared now at that time you have to segregate that amount which you received almost two months before that how much is the income for the current year for 2020 and how much the income for the next year so if you see here as we discussed that almost 100 dollar is the income for one month so how many months passed november and december so two months related to this year and almost five months related to the next year so this is for 2020 and this is for year 2021 so out of the 700 dollars you have earned only 200 dollars so this is the income for the insurance income for the business and still you have to give the service to the customer in the next year 2021 for how many months for next five months like january february march april may of 2021 so it means at that date you have received the money 700 but you have earned only 200 dollar as your income so on the 31st december what we have to write we have to write we have to adjust that how much you have earned here 
you have written how much you have received but here we have to write on 31st december how much is earned only 200 dollar is earned because that amount is related to current year so what will be written here it was liability here of seven months but now you have given the service it means almost two months is over so it means your liability is reducing so you will write unearned income like a 200 dollar is debit and then the insurance income will be 200 dollars okay so insurance earned so 200 dollar is earned so that's why we will write that out of this 700 200 dollar is earned so now this 200 dollar is earned so it is adjusted how it is adjusted out of 700 200 is earned so it means it is the income or this is the revenue for which year for 2020 and it will be written in the income statement or what we say the profit and loss account and this amount which you have already received but still not earned so that will be written as what well as the current liability on which date on the 31st of the december it is a current liability so this 200 dollar is earned so that will be written as what well as the revenue for this year automatically here 200 dollar is the income and the balance was how much 700 credit now it is 200 debit so the 500 credit balance is there so it is the unearned or the current liability is there and that will be written in the statement of financial position or what we say the balance sheet so in this way how we will adjust the income which we have received but still not earned so again just a brief review of that that there is an advanced income you have received from the customer but you have not given the service in full some of the service you will give in the current financial period and some of the service you will give in the next financial period so the service which you have given in the current financial period will be written as an income and any amount which is still you have received but not given the service will be written as an unearned income and that will be written as a current liability in the statement of financial position or what we can say the balance sheet so this is how the 700 dollar is segregated 200 dollar in the income statement and 500 dollar in the statement of financial position as an unearned income even if we prepare the account here it was granted by 700 dollar and here it is debited by 200 dollar the balance in that account is 500 dollar on the credit side so it is the debit so i hope you have understood the concept of the unearned income and still if you have any doubt if you have any question you can ask me in the comments section thank you very much